ladies and gentlemen, this is Roy the Lead Hound, and today, with sword and gus jar in hand, we shall smite whatever foe lies on the other side of this door. So let's get started, shall we? What could it be? Oh, well, outside of the dungeon. A green chew. Hmm? Wait a minute. What's going on here? Uh-oh. I don't like the look of this. And one more. Yes, so the first boss of this game is hilariously enough just an ordinary enemy, one of the easiest enemies in the game. Oh boy. But he is a little more lively when you're when you're like a quarter of an inch tall or whatever. So let's just use the gust jar. You can pull the, uh, the the slime out from underneath him, which will cause him to fall over because his head is too big. And then we can whack the heck out of him like this. And then he regenerates himself. And phase two, I believe he jumps a lot more. I think he makes stuff fall from the ceiling if I remember right. Uh, there's hearts here. I probably shouldn't waste those just in case. Okay, maybe that's just phase three. Oh, whoa, that was close. Okay, he almost got me. But that's fine. We don't want his head to fall on you because it actually does hurt. Alright. Fall, fall, fall. No, no, no. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. Hit him again. And one more time. Regenerate yourself. And here we go. Alright, more jumping. Oh, boy. Roll. I mean, take a bit and roll. Take a bit more. And you can't actually push him with... Okay, he's an enemy. You can push him with the guest jar. So, there we go. Okay, so we can do that once more. And this should be the last time. Right? Surely. Surely. Okay. Come on. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Finish him off. Yes! We did it! Oh, and his eyes start to spin like... Oh, man. This game so much. <laughs> and we received the very first element. Isn't that just wonderful? I, know, I mean, we barely took any hits during that fight. That's that's pretty impressive. You got the earth element. The power of the earth is the source of all living things. The earth element is the embodiment of that power. And also, we get a heart container as well. Wow, this is this is going fantastically. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jinx myself again and predict that I will barely be dying at all in this series. Because I said that during Sly Cooper, but I mean, I made it all the way through the first boss without dying. So you know what? I think I'm much more confident in that prediction. Ah, we've got the Earth Element. You must go tell the Elder at once. Sure thing, buddy. Let's do that. Um, actually, first, I kind of want to get that heart piece, because once I talk to the Elder, uh, he's going to let me leave through a different exit. Oh. Retrieve the Earth Element from that fiend you pressed and tried? Incredible. Humans are amazing creatures. The Elder is sure to be amazed. Yep, yep. Well, let's first, uh, before we speak once more to the Elder, go back outside the Minish Village through the front entrance. Oh, wait a minute. Will he not let us? We sneak our pico blooms to areas near where humans live. Just having some of it makes you incredibly lucky. We're preparing for our next delivery right now. That's kind of funny. These actually come into play later in the game. I've never done that before because I've never tried to go back. Alright, I guess we'll have to get that uh, piece of heart afterwards. Okay, that, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's just go see the elder. I guess they don't want you uh, trying to go out the other way. You're supposed to go out this way, so... Alright, acceptable. Hello, Elder. So, you have found the Earth Element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. What about wisdom? Huh, old man? If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Cerno. Or a Colonel? I, I believe it's Colonel. There you will find a man named Malark. Among all the Minish, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, I am certain he will reforge your broken pecorium. I shall send him word in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. I know, buddy. 
Oh boy, you're one of those slow NPC walkers. Ugh. Leave through this door here, it will take you out to the forest quickly. Right, Elder. We're in your debt. We shall head for Mount Krenel at once. Krenel. Alright, yeah, that's what it is. Thanks, Ezlo. Oh, this is his bedroom, apparently. Can I wash my face? Yeah. yeah. Just splash a bit of water on your face. You just had to face a giant shoe. Relatively giant shoe, compared to you. Oh, what's this? This is some Minish's house. He's not living with the other Minish. Green clothes? An empty stuckle hat? So, would you by chance be Roy? The one who found the Earth element? Surely you are. I have heard so many tales of You've heard so many tales about me already? <laughs> I am Balari, researcher of antiques. Oh, do you give me bombs? I'm a bit of an inventor. You know you won't be able to get back in town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. You do give me bombs. Ah, I remember that. Okay. Neat. Thanks. Thanks, uh, Bl Blurney? What's your name? You find it useful. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll come back to him later, but that's kind of funny. There's, like, a named Minish character that I forgot about. But, I mean, I remember he gave me bombs, but he's got, like, a name and everything, but he just has, like, a generic Minish model. That is super cool. Oh, yeah. This won't come into play for a little while, but still. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of the world. Ah, whoa! It blew up! Hey, kid! Look at where that stone marker used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course, why this must be... Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. <laughs> at least he can be honest. Uh, we'll find out what that is later. It, uh, it doesn't matter. And we got five bombs. Neato. For now, we might as well just head out of, uh, of Minish Woods, I believe. Um, okay, so we could blow up the bombs there, or, alternatively, we could not. Alright, so we need to swim. I believe we'll need to swim or something to be able to get our little Minish shells and cells over to that hole. Um, I'm probably going to end up coming back to the Minish Woods immediately. I'm gonna just gonna turn right around and come back in so that I can get that piece of heart that we, has been tantalizing us for several episodes now. Uh, let's do that. In fact, I'll, I'll just skip all this stuff. Ah, those dudes. We're gonna face a lot more of those on Mount Crenel. Alright, I'll, I'll actually head back here and do this area properly in a minute. Oh boy, those things are easy to fight with the Gust Jar. For now, let's head back into the Minish Woods, by the front entrance. It must be off to the back entrance. Yes, my precious. So, and yes, once again, uh, I, I, I talked about it a little bit, but one of the things I love about this game is just how much your view of the world can sort of change. It's, it's typical of Zelda games to sort of have, uh, um, you know, light world, dark world stuff, but the size thing is just so super cool to me. It's, it works on so many levels, and it allows you to look at stuff and be like, you know, if you were to come to this area beforehand, uh, when you when Ezlo calls for help, you would be like, oh, this this looks weird. But once you get the size thing, you, you immediately you start seeing all these little, like, mouse holes, essentially. And we have five hearts, by the way, as well. I neglect, I neglect to mention. Um... And it just shows that, you know, oh, there's, this world is full of secrets literally just under your feet, and it's it's very neat. I, I really appreciate that, honestly. Okay, th these bosses are, you know, now these guys, we've seen them as a tiny guy, so it's like, oh my goodness. Look at all these bosses we're beating. We should be getting... We should already have all the elements by now. Just look at my strength. I can fell bosses and in no time whatsoever. Also, uh, these, uh, you can't open with bombs. I'll just demonstrate that, but in case it's driving anyone crazy, like, why don't you open that? You can't. There are some... We've already seen some areas that you can open with bombs, uh, in the area where we left the course previously, but those you need, a uh, separate item that, once again, we'll be getting later. Might as well blow up this rock, too. Just because they stay permanently blowed up. Blow, blowed up. They stay permanently blowed up, you see. Alright, we'll re-equip the Gust Jar, though, and we'll take care of these P-Hats, I believe they're called, if I remember correctly. So we can't, uh, get rid of grass with that. Wow, what did that do? Flew! But you can get rid of bushes very easily using the Gust Jar, just BAM! Oh, these dudes. 
Uh, I can't remember what those are called, but they like to just hide under, uh, hide under stuff. And these ones are actually pretty easy to beat because you can just hit them with your sword and it, it knocks them away. But when they hide under rocks, it's uh, not quite so simple. So this opening we can take care of with a well-placed bomb. I don't remember what's in this place at all. Okay, some keys. And shells. Okay, excellent. Ah, excellent. So, back down to here, there was a mushroom, right? Alright, let's just, yeah, let's not worry about those dudes. Looking around like, what? I thought I got them. Alright, there's a minish portal, and a little minish house. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go take care of that. We'll shrink after the bomb explodes. Oh, okay, or maybe we won't. Maybe we'll collect these items. <laughs> Whatever, now we'll shrink. And you can actually skip the uh, the shrinking scene after you see it for the first time. There's a couple different Minish portals, but once you see uh, the portal animation, you can skip them. Hey, look at this! Kinstone piece. Have you ever seen one like this? What? You don't know what a Kinstone piece is? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come back and see me when you get one, okay? Sure thing! I will be heading back down here uh, once, I, once I unlock the secrets of Kinstones. It's fine. Alright, so I believe that is, in fact, now everything in this particular area. Ah! Also this, this little gray thing here. This, it comes into play later on, if you can believe it or not. This little gray thing, whenever you see these on the ground, those are actually important later on in the game. Somewhat, if you do kinstone pieces. But let's not worry about that. Right, we'll just take down these acrobat dudes and head back to Hyrule Town. So now we're back in South Hyrule Field. We could actually go back to our house. In fact, uh, why don't we do that? Let's go back to our house and see what uh, what our what our dad. If you remember, I believe he's our dad in this game. I believe we actually have a father, or is he our uncle? Let us see. Hmm, so this is your house. Well, it seems like a nice place. So where's my room? Uh, well, actually, yeah, you, you stay with me. I'm sorry, but hats don't get their own room. Sorry to say. Hey, man. Oh, welcome back, Roy. My patrol will be much stronger. If you get tired, just go ahead and take a nap upstairs in your room. I'm busy making swords for the gods to keep the monsters at bay. I wish I could do more, but for now, we need you to save Princess Zelda. Yeah, we just need you to, you know, do all the work. Although, the guards only use spears, so I have to wonder, do swords, they never seem to get to the guards' hands. Or maybe they just don't draw them. We're actually at maximum rupees now, interestingly enough. So, this is your room. It makes it my room too, right? Well, actually, yes it does. Hey, aren't you tired? Do you want to take a rest? Um, actually, yeah, let's end off the episode, because this is kind of, this is kind of awesome. So, after you get Ezlo, when you take a rest, you wake up, and then give him a little jab, it's like, hey, come on, dude. Let's go. And then we're ready. I just love that little animation. Oh, yeah. That was just what I needed to get back in the fight. Let's go, Roy. So that is just uh, pretty funny. Uh, the animations in this game are very charming, I must say. But that's all for this episode. Next episode, we, sh we shall head back into Hyrule Town. And I, I believe we actually... Do we go back to the castle? Uh, I think we do. I can't quite remember. Either way, that's all for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and be sure to come back next time.